Who made the best moves of free agency and who made the worst ones? NBA free agency started at 6 p.m. on Friday, and the Sporting News Stephen Noe has been grading all of the transactions in real time throughout the first few days. Stay with us, we will show you the top 10 signing NBA deals for 2023. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Number 1. Draymond Green re-signs with Warriors Contract details, 4 years, $100 million with player option. Well done Warriors for making the payment. They will have to pay much over $100 million in taxes just to bring Green back. Retaining Green this summer was their best move because he is still an A-plus defender. The average annual compensation of $25 million is exactly what I anticipated, but the length of this contract caught me off guard. I had anticipated that Green, who is 33 years old, would sign a three-year contract to coincide with the expiration of Stephen Curry's. Instead, he received a year four-player option that was much desired and which he would very definitely exercise. Number 2. Fred VanVleet Signs with Rockets Contract Details 3 years, $130 million For the Rockets to improve their culture, they needed a tough veteran. They paid too much, but in VanVleet they got one. The Raptors were struggling to keep VanVleet, and the bidding had to go up since they couldn't find a replacement. VanVleet does not score well, and his body's mileage is a concern. However, this fits well. VanVleet, a former undrafted free agent, earned everything he has. With his brilliant passing abilities and fierce defense, he provides the team with organizing principles. The Rockets played basketball too haphazardly and gave too many minutes to their young players. VanVleet and new head coach Ainu Doka will drastically alter the team's culture. Number 3. Kiri Irving re-signs with Mavericks Contract details 3 years, $126 million with player option. Any Irving arrangement would have to deal with the issue of length. Irving reached out to other teams in the league and discovered that there wasn't going to be any competition for his services. The Mavs were able to use their clout to negotiate a brief three-year contract. Although Irving's maximum deal, which would have been five years and $272 million, isn't reached in this one, he still receives the highest average yearly value of any player signed this offseason, $42 million per year. Given the possibilities available to the Mavs, this is the finest settlement that could have been hoped for. It benefits both parties. Had Irving walked, they would have had no other way to acquire a player of his caliber. Number 4. Chris Middleton re-signs with Bucks. Contract details. 3 years, $102 million. Middleton turned down his option for $40 million in favor of a larger payout at a lower average annual value. Given their lack of leverage, the Bucks definitely could not afford to lose him, so this is a fantastic bargain for them. Middleton's play has already begun to deteriorate as he approaches his 32nd birthday this season. The Bucks gained by getting him back on a three-year contract as opposed to a four-year one. They urgently want his production of offense, and he is still capable of playing at a very high level in the short term. Although Brooke Lopes needs to be re-signed, the Bucks are off to a tremendous start. Number 5. Austin Reeves re-signs with Lakers Contract details, 4 years, $56 million. This is far less than the $101 million cap Reeves might have received had he sought out an offer sheet from an outside team. It must be a relief for the Lakers to get him back for a fair price. He can make some secondary plays in addition to being a strong defender and a fantastic three-point shooter. These players often command salaries of at least $20 million annually. It's a great deal to acquire him for $14 million on average year. Number 6. Brooke Lopes re-signs with Bucks. Contract details, 2 years, $48 million. For the Bucks to field a championship squad around Giannis Antetokounmpo, Lopez's return was essential. Given that he is entering his 35th season and has had back problems in the past, getting him at only two years is a success. Lopes should be worth an average of $24 million every year. He was the top free agent center, and Nikola Vucevic and Jacob Poltel, who both received $20 million annually, established the market. Number 7. Dylan Brooks Signs with Rockets Contract Details 4 Years, $80 Million 
On some level, the Rockets' decision to sign Brooks makes sense. They required a culture shifter and a role model who could teach their young athletes the true meaning of dedication. However, this is a colossal overspend. By applying the same logic, they were able to pay Fred Van Vliet for two years, but four years is absurd, especially considering that Brooks' services were probably not competitively priced. This transaction may succeed, but there was no justification for giving Brooks four years of guaranteed employment given how unpredictable he can be. Number 8. D'Angelo Russell Resigns with Lakers Contract details, two years, $37 million with second-year player option. Russell had a miserable playoff run for the Lakers, and as a result of his poor defense and inability to generate any offense, he was taken out of the starting lineup at the end of their series against the Nuggets. Don't let that overshadow the positive qualities he's shown over the remainder of the season. As the Warriors did with him when they traded him for Andrew Wiggins years ago, the Lakers also keep his contract slot open in an effort to try and upgrade through trade later in the season. Number 9. Bruce Brown Signs with Pacers Contract details, 2 years, $45 million. For Brown, this is an excessive sum. The Pacers, though, have budget room to use, and they will be granted Brown's early bird rights when his contract is up in two years. They had to use drastic measures to secure their target because their free agent budget wasn't as generous as that of a team like the Lakers. The Pacers have a ton of flexibility thanks to the team option in year two. Number 10. Cam Johnson re-signs with Nets. Contract details, four years, $108 million. After the salary dump of Joe Harris back in the day, it seemed obvious that the Nets would pay more for Johnson. Even though Johnson has only averaged 11.3 points per game throughout his career, this amount of money may seem excessive given his rarefied skill set. His 6-8 frame allows him to defend a variety of positions, and he has a career 3-point shooting percentage of 39%. This brings us to the end of our video. At the end, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video, stay tuned.